It is the sum total that defines the pay signature. A feeling as light as air. A joy in simply being there. fun to do something sort of a, as the French call the folie, the, and a fun piece. So I decided to reverse the pyramid and bring it down. By bringing it down, we're able to bring light in and give you a symbol, a frivolous kind of a symbol, but it does not occupy any space. The Louvre was once hard to get to. Pay, the city planner, never forgot the first lessons he learned in New York. To the north, you can go to Rideau Rivoli and you also can go to the subway. And that's very important. So therefore you have a connection to rapid transit. This direction, you go to the gardens, the Tuileries Gardens, and there are two grand stairs that lead you out to the garden. Beyond the gardens is the celebrated Parisian boulevard into which the Louvre flows and the parade of city life to which it now belongs. The passageways, once off limits, are now a route of preference. The entire Louvre is now open to the public. They don't have to come to the Louvre, like these are students. They didn't use to walk through Napoleon Court. Now they do. Why? Because from here they can go to the left bank. So now this is a sort of a crossroad without being, without having to go into the museum. <laughs> Difficult to say how I feel. I feel I must. I have to say that I feel very, very, very proud to have a hand in this. But the, but I cannot say it without also mentioning that it's also a piece of great luck. I happened to be here in 1983 at the right time and. Uh, circumstances is what I continue to reflect on so what made it possible for me to participate in this historic undertaking. It's uh, something of great importance in my life.